Hello and welcome to the first video in a series of tutorials that I'm going to be doing uh, explaining basic programming concepts and use of Visual Basic. So here I am on my desktop and I'm just going to open Visual Basic up now. Now you can get Visual Basic from the download which I'll provide in the description of the video and you want to open it up like I've just done and you'll see it load up and when you load it up for the first time there'll probably be an extra loading screen but don't worry about that, just wait for it to get to this looking screen like this and you may have a Visual Basic 2008 but if you download the one in the description it will be 2010 Express so we want to go and create a new project so we've got to file and new project and we'll choose console application now this is a type of program that lets you write code that is executed sequentially so it reads it line by line and executes it as it, as it goes along and this is a really good way to sort of learn basic concepts in programming because you can see exactly what's happening and exactly what's going on so double click on console application and create one of those now this video well set of video tutorials is going to be aimed at people who uh, might not necessarily be doing this as a serious thing, but it, it's aimed at those who want to sort of learn something new and, and do something they'll enjoy, hopefully. And I'm just going to try and make it interesting. I'm going to try and sort of get you involved a bit more. And it also might come in handy if you're doing it at college or higher education, uh, as a lot of this I was taught in, in college as well. So hopefully it's quite going to be quite useful to you. And yeah, so when you load it up, this is what you get. And this is the beginning of, of what your program basically. And don't worry about everything here at the moment. I'll explain that in the next video. But what I want you to do is just create a quick program with me. And this is going to be the Hello World program, which is a program that most language well, you usually write in most program languages. Pardon me. Uh, yeah, it's the typical program that you write when you first write your program. So, to do that, we want to write console.writeLine and then hello world. Now, console write line basically writes what's in the brackets to the screen into the console. Now, the console is the... What, I'll explain what the console is when you see it. Now, it's always good practice to save your code before you actually run it. So, we click save all up here and put this YouTube. There we go. So that's going to create all the files that we need. Well, we won't need it in this video, but you'll probably need them at a later date. So, yep, write that in. And now this play icon here is called... Well, you click on that to debug it, or you press F5, it says there. Now, it's basically like running the code, but it's debugging. And we click that, and as you can see, the console flashed up there. So, you saw, you might have seen, it did actually say hello world but it went away straight away. Now to stop it from doing that, what's basically happening is when the compiler reads the code, it reads it line by line, by line sorry, and it basically reads this line, does it, and then moves on to the next line and ends the program. It ends because there's nothing there for it to do next. So we need to basically create a pause. Console read line is probably the easiest way to do that. Now console write line writes to the screen and console read line waits for an input from the user or the person running the program and you can input anything onto a console read line it doesn't matter and you hit enter to go to the next line and you'll see that now save and run hello world comes up and the sort of cursor thing there is basically flashing it's waiting for a user input and if we just hit enter it will run that line of code and then end and that's basically it. That's the first video, and it's a little program. Obviously, we'll get on to more complex things, and I'll explain things in more detail as we go along. But yeah, I hope you understood that, and if you've got any questions or anything, feel free to contact me. But subscribe, thumbs up the video, and I'll be bringing out the next few video tutorials very soon. Thanks a lot.